at the same time, this is the, the late 60s, with hippie and other people smoking smoke, smoking dope and dropping acid, and that being part of the Weltanschauung, and uh, myself inhaling, but not, not, sorry, not inhaling. Uh, uh, it, hippie introduced me to the, uh, the tarot pack and the I Ching. I would play, played with the tarot pack and the I Ching, and it felt as though these, the cards don't, were not falling at random and that they were telling the story, they were saying what was going on. So this is the first experience of, of synchronicity. But I thought, okay, the number of, of coincidences that happen to any particular person, it follows a, it follows a, a normal distribution, a, a bell curve. And most people, they have so many coincidences happen during their day. Um, but to some people, lots and lots of coincidences happen, and some people none happen. And I'm just, I'm just out on, on the toe here. I'm just out on, on the top toe, and that's why, that's why it seems that there are all these synchronicities, and why the cards seem to, it, they're f falling at random, and they just seem to tell what, what's happening in, in my life and in the world. We'll talk about the I Ching another time. The I Ching is a fascinating book that for the last 15, 20 years has spoken quite literally to any, addressed any, anything I've asked it. Again, was this, is this happenstance? Led me to a belief that, that you set up any complex system, the tarot packs, the, the, the this cards, the that cards of the New Age, the, the animal cards, the, the First Nation cards, uh, set up any complex system and spirit will use it. Spirit will speak to you through whatever language you speak. Spirit is a polyglot, can speak any language. Okay, synchronicity. I did a vision quest about 15 years ago with Vern Harper and Joe Couture. A dry fast, four day dry fast, no food or water. And after that, for a month, every day there was a coincidence, a synchronicity. Some of them were large and some of them were small, but every day. And one day, three weeks say into this, three weeks into this, I'm riding home on the bus. And I'm looking down, my eyes are closed, and I look up with a thought in my head, there hasn't been a synchronicity today, and open my eyes, open my eyes to, on the bus there's a, there's a little poster, the poster is for Covenant House, teenage girl with a baseball cap, Covenant House, and the legend in front of her is, she won't have to sleep on the street tonight. And this is over the shoulder of a man who has the t-shirt with the same image. Girl, baseball hat, coming in house, she won't have to sleep on the street tonight. Now, I've never seen a poster uh, of, of an image and a t-shirt of an image juxtaposed. But it's not that outrageous coincidence. So that's not God's finger in the, in the mix, but, but that is an answer to opening my eyes to the question, to the statement internally, there hasn't been a coincidence today. There hasn't been a synchronicity today. That's just beyond happenstance. That's God's finger. That's God saying, here I am, you know, ask and, and I'll answer. My son, Seth, my son, Seth, can't see that as astronomically improbable. It's a, we've discussed this. Yeah, uh, sure, the, the t-shirt and the poster are not astronomically improbable, though I've, that's the one, the one time I've had that experience over a lifetime. But the, the three, the, 
juxtaposition of those images as an answer to my statement that there hasn't been a synchronicity today, that's, for me, that's God waving. Hi, I'm here. So what? We're driving down to Wales to see my daughter Jessica, his Seth's sister, Jessica, and talking th this through again, this, uh, the improbability, the, 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 this isn't a, a one in a billion, this is a one in, in a quadrant, in a quazillion. Um, it's not improbable, it's impossible. And, but, but so what? So what that there's evidence that there's a pattern, that there's an intelligence that patterns the universe as it chooses. Now, for the most part, it's my belief that this world unfolds through quantum and through Darwin, but God's fine-tuning it. The pattern is fine-tunes it, it would seem. And I believe this is an experience that many of us have had. And so what? And so what? Well, so I said to Seth, so someday I'll, I'll say this perfect Om, I will say the perfect Om and achieve Nirvana. And then Ewing Wood and carrying water. And I'd like to read you a poem called Consider the Lilies. Consider the Lilies. She said, we come from the light. But I say we're molded from mud. And that explains, did you hear that burp? Yeah, edit out that burp. And that one. Consider the lilies. She said, we come from the light. But I say we're molded from mud. And that explains all our stupidities. We're pretty smart for beasts, but locusts perish. In Rat City, it's dog eat dog. And whether we wake or not, matters only a jot, because it's all already accomplished. God is evolved, mud into mind, mind into spirit, worlds without end. We're vouchsafed in a flower. I'm Norman Allen, and brought to you by spirit, by God, and synchronicity.